Another person we talked to about the effort to raise the age in North Carolina was Representative Greg Meyer of Orange County. Here's what he had to say. Talk to me a little bit about the process moving forward. After the bill is heard in the Judiciary Committee, what, what happens next? So the bill is going to need to go through the Judiciary and Appropriations Committees. The ju Judiciary Committee should look at uh, is this the right thing to do for the enforcement of the law and the Appropriations Committee will look at how much money is this going to cost. If it passes both those committees it will get heard in, uh, by the full House of Representatives and then it goes over to the Senate to go through a similar committee process and full process and then eventually hopefully to the governor. Great. Well, talk to us a little bit about cost. You mentioned cost and and the branding of this this bill has kind of been around like the Juvenile Reinvestment Act. So can you talk to us about what a reinvestment into the juvenile system looks like and what that means for taxpayers out there? Well, you know, think about all the money that we're spending on adult prisons right now for 16 and 17 year olds. And can we take that money and put it into juvenile justice system where we don't rely on prisons, but we rely on treatment and on providing uh, rehabilitative services mm -hmm. to those adolescents? Um, sometimes it's a little more expensive to pay for juvenile treatment than it is for adult stuff because we do want to provide juveniles with a lot of uh, support to help them get through whatever they're going through. But the long-term investment is worth it because spending a little bit of money on helping the juvenile to go through rehabilitation is hopefully going to prevent them from ending up in adult prison once they turn into an adult. Absolutely. Thank you. So it's hard to believe that North Carolina hasn't caught up with virtually every other state in the country. If you want to be a part of the movement to raise the age, contact your legislators and tell them that it's time to pass HB 280.